This is Privileged Identities Explained by Lieberman Software, the pioneers of privileged identity management. Each time you log in to your organization's network, you're required to enter your password to keep the network site safe from outsiders. You probably also have to follow some rules to make sure that your password cannot be easily compromised. For example, your password might need to have a minimum length, contain numbers and special characters, and be different from passwords you've used in the past. Your organization probably also uses an identity and access management system to enforce these rules for password security and to determine what information and services you can access. And because you log in with your own personal credentials, the automated records or logs that are created as you access information and services can make you accountable for your actions. But personal logins aren't the only type of credentials present on your network. The employees who maintain the computers, network appliances, and every type of software in your organization use special passwords with elevated permissions needed to install new hardware and software, configure services, and maintain the infrastructure. Called privileged identities, these logins grant elevated permission to view and change data, alter configuration settings, and run programs on just about every hardware and software asset on your network, including computer operating systems, network and backup appliances, directory services, databases, line of business applications, and all the rest. And it's not only individuals that use privileged identities to access these types of resources. Computer programs and processes, including business applications and computer services, must also store and use privileged identities to authenticate with databases, middleware, and other application tiers when requesting sensitive information and computing resources. Unlike your personal login credentials, privileged identities are not typically linked to any one individual. And privileged identities are not systematically managed in most organizations. This means that in all likelihood, you do not know where all of the privileged account logins exist on your network. You have no record of which privileged login credentials are known to different individuals, including IT staff, application developers, managers, outside vendors, and service providers. You have no proof of who has used your privileged logins to gain access to each of your IT resources when and for what purpose. And there is no way to verify that each of your privileged account passwords is cryptographically strong, sufficiently unique, and changed often enough to be secure. As organizations continue to experience growth and change, they face increased challenges to manage their privileged identities. Over time, new hardware and software deployments, organizational changes, and other planned and unplanned events cause increased difficulty to control these powerful credentials. Many organizations try to address the problem through an improvised approach. They allow IT staff to keep track of privileged passwords on their own using manual processes such as storing printed records in a safe, spreadsheets, or scripts that individuals must write, test, and maintain. The trouble with an improvised approach is that too many privileged passwords on the network can be overlooked and never secured, and because those passwords that are tracked might be so seldom changed, when people leave the company, they often take password secrets with them. Worse yet, if an outsider is able to compromise just one system on the organization's network, he can take advantage of weak privileged account passwords to gain broad access all over the network. Sadly, newspaper headlines are full of stories about organizations that failed to take control, suffering costly data breaches at the hands of hackers and former employees. Today, with so much damage attributed to unmanaged privileged identities, IT auditors have taken notice. 
And if you're not managing your privileged identities, you risk failed IT audits for Sarbanes-Oxley, HIPAA, PCI DSS, and a host of other standards that require you to track, secure, and audit the use of privileged identities. Fortunately, privileged identity management software can help you to continuously track privileged identities everywhere on your network, enabling you to quickly safeguard your privileged account passwords so that they are unknown to everyone except on a need-to-know basis. Enforcing accountability so you'll know precisely who has privileged access to each IT resource, when and for what purpose, while granting more rapid, secure access whenever IT staff need privileged logins to perform routine maintenance and emergency repairs. Privileged identity management software makes IT auditors happy because it closes dangerous security holes, giving detailed auditing and compliance reports to prove that these powerful credentials are secured according to regulatory standards while promoting continuous compliance with major regulatory standards when it comes to your privileged credentials. And privileged identity management software makes IT managers happy because they can show that the network has improved protection to help mitigate the threats of hackers while stopping insider threats. And it makes the staff who maintain your IT infrastructure happy because it gives them speedier access to the privileged credentials they need to perform their jobs while eliminating the time-consuming, error-prone work of securing privileged logins by hand and automating the record-keeping and reporting that used to take so much time. To learn how easy it can be to put privileged identity management to work in your organization, visit liebsoft.com secure. This has been Privileged Identities Explained. Thanks for watching.